Hey, what's up, guys? So today I have a review on the Diane Zanti 2x2. This puzzle is 15 millimeters, which is just a smidgen tinier than this wit 2 I have here. You can barely tell, but there is a slight, slight difference. Not that it's all that important. This puzzle does come in two sizes, the 46 millimeter and the 50 millimeter. Now, the stickers on this puzzle are not the original stickers. They are ISO's favorite set from Puzzle Addictions in what Wit 2 cut. I really enjoy the way the Wit 2 cut looks on this because the Wit 2 has not as large of holes here. So it's more designed to cover a larger piece. And I like how it covers more of the white plastic. Okay, so as far as corner cutting goes, you have 45 and reverse about that much. So very good reverse and normal corner cutting. This puzzle is very good in that sense. However, it's not that big of a deal because the wit 2 actually cuts equal got 42 and about the same amount of reverse corner cutting so it pretty much cuts the same exact amount as the wit 2 so I really was not all that impressed with the corner cutting just because I had seen it before okay, so the turning style of this puzzle is what sets it apart from the wit 2 this puzzle is super smooth and it does not have that grindy feel that the Wit 2 does. This puzzle is just super, super smooth, smooth, and it moves. <laughs> Pops do occur on this puzzle, which is a huge downfall. Like you just saw, this puzzle does pop, which is the major, major downfall of this puzzle, seeing as the wit 2 does not pop at all. And one pop actually occurred during a solve, however, and it was during a scramble, so it wasn't that big of a deal. However, I am warning you that pops do happen. It does happen to me quite frequently is these almost lockup type things and they happen a lot when I'm solving it or being rough with this puzzle. I'm not exactly graceful when solving a 2x2 two two due to the fact that I'm quite awkward and clumsy. So those types of lockups do happen to me somewhat frequently. Okay, so looking at the pieces of this puzzle, you can see that they're shaped quite similarly to the Diane Zanchi, which is 100% expected, considering this is called the Diane Zanchi 2x2. It even has this inner piece that resembles a Diane Zanchi edge piece. Inner pieces fit together like this, which I find to be a very good mechanism for a 2x2. If you look at the inner mechanism, you can see that it is somewhat similar to the Wit 2, however, at the same time, it is quite different. These screws are actually more into the puzzle than on a Wit 2. And the screw heads are a lot smaller than your average screw. The pieces of this puzzle can easily just be put back in, like so, and snapped into the puzzle. Okay, so my overall feelings on this puzzle is that it is very, very good, and I would highly recommend this puzzle to anybody who is looking at purchasing a 2x2. It is $16 on the cubicle.us, however, right now they are having a sale for Worlds. So you can get this puzzle for probably around $14 or $15, which is only $3 more than a WIT 2. So I hope you enjoyed this review. 
and I will see you guys next time.